Okay, we're uh, about ready to start the VBA solution for this problem, but before we do, we just finished figuring out the algorithm for um, the oil change package, and we left, if you recall, in the pseudocode with just this message being here, put oil change code here, because we needed to uh, figure that out and come back. So I'm going to highlight this, and then I'm going to paste in the solution we had. I'm going to adjust uh, this. We've got some line numbers in here, of course, that we do not need. And then I've got to line these up uh, correctly. Indentation should be for the module here, uh, but for here, the module and for the loop. All right, and uh, then inside the loop, we again indent twice, once for the module. All this code is dependent on the module being executed, and we're also indenting here because this code that's inside the loop is dependent on the loop for its execution. Uh, so again, we're always indenting for uh, dependency of execution. So there's a solution we had, and we've inserted it in the pseudocode where we wanted it to be. The next thing we're going to look at uh, is the uh, test plan. Now the test plan we had before, which were these first four, uh, we entered on the screen and they worked out fine. We did not have, however, an oil, number of oil changes requested field coming in, but we do now. And for the first four I've made it zero, so these are going to be the same tests that we had before. It's important whenever you amend code to make sure that what worked before still works and you haven't messed that things up that used to work. And uh, then we're also going to add four more uh, as an example of a test. This is not ex an exhaustive uh, test plan. We're going to see if, for instance, it'll work with five, which is the maximum number, three, four, and two, but the three isn't really a test because it's the same old asteroid test um, that we had up here with both the uh, convertible and the sunroof chosen, which is not acceptable. And we should still get that same message. Uh, with four, we should get an oil change savings of 30, and with two, we should get five. So there's some other tests in here. Okay, so that's the input file. We don't have to worry about creating that. That's already on the input file we're going to use. Now, uh, this is the old VBA code, by the way, from the previous solution. So now we're going to go into the VBA code for that old solution and amend it to account for the changes that we've made. And the first thing in here, we're going to need some more DIMM statements, namely uh, one for deduction, and that's going to be currency. And uh, deduction total. again as currency and we're going to need oil change number count and that one is going to be integer and oil change uh, charge and that's going to be currency And then the input value for oil change number. And that again is going to be integer. This one is the input value coming in, the variable that's going to hold the input value for the number of oil changes the customer has selected. And this one is going to be the one that we're going to make a copy of that and use that in the loop to figure out the savings. OK, so we don't want to destroy the input value that comes in. If we come down here, it's no longer the case that we're going to want to get data right away in the driver module. Instead, we are going to move this down a little bit, and we're going to call a module that gets the file ready. And we're going to call a module to process that file. And finally, we're going to call a module to shut file down. That's essentially the driver module. It's the top of the tree. 
And uh, a lot of times you can reduce it to uh, getting the file ready, processing the file, and shutting the file down like this. But in other applications, it may be the case that you'll have, instead of just process file here, you'll have sort of a tree that's been, if you will, cut off at the top a little bit. And you'll have four or five maybe modules that you're calling at this level. If you get into 10, 20 modules that you're calling at this level, you probably cut the tree off too low, uh, too much of the top has come off and you need to fill in, back up, and make a smaller driver module that executes some of those uh, procedures down below. And to do that, you can look at the, say you have 15 modules you're calling, look to see if you find some um, categories in there that you can group into one call at, uh, from the driver module. We've got this one done. I'm going to come back and deal with this later. Uh, we now need a get file ready module and we don't have one so what I'm going to do is in fact I'm going to copy the driver module to put it in because last time I showed you how to create a module and it didn't have the uh, intrinsic code in it that looks for problems the error handler code so I'm going to copy this module this time and come down and all I have to do is hit enter here and then do an insert at this first line above the private sub for get data and now I've made a copy of the driver module I certainly don't want to have this be called driver module I want it to be called get file ready so the first thing I'm going to do is change this and I also don't want this to be a underscore click module so I'm going to change this to get file ready and now I don't need this code, so I'm going to write over this with an open statement. Active document dot path, and I'm going to concatenate that with a file name, which in this case and then end the quote for input as I'm going to call this for. So I've got the open statement um, and that's what's supposed to be in get file ready module. Now the next module that I created up here that wasn't here before is the process file module. The process file module again would be created the same way. I can come down here and ahead of this I can just paste in the driver module again and instead of driver module click it's going to be process file module and in the process file module I'm not going to again I'm not going to have this code so I'll just write over or I'll delete this for the time being and instead what I'm going to have in here are the three statements to call get data find price and show results. I'm going to cut that out of the driver module. I'm going to come down and uh, put it into the process module and paste it here. This is what I want to do in here. But I also need to do this in an iterative manner. So I need a loop. If you recall from the pseudocode, we had a uh, pretest loop here with the while keyword and not and of file using the VBA function EOF on file 4, which is the number we gave, logical number we gave our file in the open statement. Okay, now since it's a loop, these statements have to be indented because they're now dependent on that loop for their execution. And then I can come down and end this loop. Uh, and I'm done with the process file. If you have the pseudocode uh, handy or if you remember, that's what we had in the process file module. The last module that's new from the driver module is shut down file. Shut down file will have to also be created down here. We'll put it in right after process file. Since in the me meanwhile I have uh, copied those calls, I'm going to have to copy all this module again. And this time I'll use the process file module and copy it right here. And now I've got a process file module that I've got it duplicated, two of them. And I'm going to change this one to shut down file. Okay, so what I'm going to put in here is close pound sign 4, the logical number for our file. 
and I've got that module created. Now we've finished all of the modules that we had called in our driver. We come down to Get Data, and in Get Data we have a bunch of input statements from the screen that are going to have to be changed. So instead of these, we're going to replace those with the input statement, input pound sign 4, uh, comma, car model sun roof leather seats. We have to match these with the input order on the file, and we have to make sure we've got the same uh, order as is in the input record. Retract child seat. Convertible and oil change number, the new variable on our input. Okay, so we now have keyed in the input statement. It would be nice to have the um, debugging software that we had up here. You should have copied it uh, like I did this last time, but in case you didn't, uh, all you have to do is come down here, find the spot for error handler, and paste it in. And then you have to come up and get the error handler statement on error go to error handler. You can copy that down to the uh, get data module and we've just put the error handler routine into this. Okay, then we go down to find car price and in uh, ca find car price, if you recall, um, there isn't anything that's changed. And we can go down to find base price and we find that that also hasn't changed. If you recall in the pseudocode, we didn't, make, we didn't alter that code. But in find extra price, um, we do have an additional thing to put in, and that is after this last end if, we need to put in the code that is uh, the code for the loop that we found for the oil changes. Okay, I got smart and I went to the Word document and I copy pasted in the pseudocode and then I altered some things. I took out the keywords pretest so that it would syntactically be correct with VBA. I made a continuation for this out here so that uh, this would be picked up. And then I adjusted the indentation so it matched. So this is pretty much what we had. And when you can do that with a pseudocode, it means that you won't forget something. Okay, so we've changed that, and we're now ready to look any further to see if there's anything else to change. In calculate car price, for instance, in our pseudocode, at the end of this, we needed to add in the oil change charge and get that into the total car price. And then uh, in show results down here, we needed to make some changes and add in some things. For instance, uh, in message code equal one, we have an output there and then an else uh, instead of an else if. So I'm gonna take that out. If you recall, our class standard is not to have an else on a line with something else, but to always put the else when we use it on a line by itself, whether it's in pseudocode or VBA, that's our class standard. So I'm coming down to the next line and I'm going to put in a nested if on the false branch of this outside if that asks about the sunroof and puts out that package. The package here and the oil change package are not exclusive. They could do both. We could not do an else if. So that brings us down to here. We need to indent this so that it's uh, shown that it's dependent on the alternation statement for its execution. And we'll come back and put in an end if so that it matches up with this if. So we just have this one if statement in the false branch, the first if, that outputs the uh, savings package or not. Then we're going to have another one-tailed simple if that will test for oil change number being greater than one. And some of you may have uh, wondered why uh, we didn't test also for oil change 
and oil change number less than six since our code does a test for that before it goes into the loop to figure out the oil change and so I'm going to do it here and if I do it here I have to remember to go back and do it on our pseudocode to make them in sync so back here uh, in the show results module that would be a change down further right here so it would be and oil change number less than six if I don't do it right now I'll probably forget now I'm going back to the code and I'm going to have label out dot caption equal to label out dot caption concatenated with and we're going to go to the next line and uh, down here I'm going to say you have elected uh, to save and then I'm going to put the end quote another concatenate and I'm going to put deduction total in here and concatenate and continue the next line um, quote space in oil changes with your purchases your purchase of your car period end quote concatenate VB new line and then I'm going to come out and say and if I'm done with that message and um, this next output line, lab, label out dot caption, label out dot caption, puts out the, the price of the car, and that still has to come out, so that'll stay where it is. Notice it's not indented inside the alternation. It's not in the alternation. It's inside this alternation, so it's indented for the module once, and it's indented for this alternation once, but it lines up with this if because it's not dependent on it. Now this else with the output down here is the same as that one. It used to be the case we needed that, but since we've made the change in here, we don't need this anymore. I'm going to delete that. And you can um, see how that corresponds to the pseudocode. It doesn't do it either. So we've got after this end if for the one-tailed simples in the false branch of the first if, we have this output for the total price. Then we have an end if for the outside if, and then we have an end sub for the uh, for that module. Okay, so that brings us down to the very end of this, and we've now made all the corrections. Let's uh, go ahead and see if this will run. Well, I misspelled currency. If you look at that currency, so I'm going to have to come in here and change this. Try this again. We now have the screen sub or function not defined and I've evidently misspelled or misplaced or done something wrong with shut file down. Let's go down and see what I did. Here's oh I got shut down file so this should be shut file down. Okay we're ready to test again and uh, here's the screen we get an error number zero description none which is kind of disheartening I'm going to hit F8 twice we're in the get data module that might help a little uh, but it just stays in the error handler if you notice here it doesn't go anywhere and this is an unusual error but what I when I copied if you recall this is the module I copied down this statement and the error handler to so that I could uh, have an error control in here but in doing that I forgot to copy down uh, or I didn't need before but now I do need an exit sub statement uh, to skip around the error handler and what it was doing was falling into here after it got the first record so there wasn't really a problem it's just that error handler got executed uh, because this wasn't here so now let's try that again
And it looks like we got output this time. Uh, that looks pretty good. The first four tests have not changed. That's good because we haven't messed anything up. And the last four tests, we do get the inserted message. You have elected to save $50 in oil changes, and that's the right amount. And the amount has been added to, for the oil changes, has been added to the price of the car. And the second one uh, is, again, the convertibles, not with a sunroof message. The third one is $30 in savings, and the last one is 5 so this looks like it worked. And this concludes the uh, example for iteration.